And for those of you who don't know me, and especially if we meet in the bar later, my name is Danny. Do you want a pint? Uh, <laughs> Danny, do you want a pint? Fornication. I'll read that again. For an occasion like this, uh, I want to make sure I keep up the traditions of being a best man. Uh, apparently, I need to get the groom to the church on time. Tick. Uh, I need to remember the rings. Did that. And I need to have sex with a bridesmaid. Whee! I, to be fair, I, I wrote these um, before I knew they. I would never have sex with them. Maybe when they're older. Never say never. And keep them away from Pedo Rog. <laughs> All right, Pedo. Nice to have you. He's come a long way. Good lad. It's great to see so many people turn up to see Josh finally tie the knot. And about time, too. Nat's got it all. She's brilliantly clever, apparently really delivers in the bedroom. Um, like mother, like daughter, eh? He knows what I'm talking about. No. And uh, I don't know about you, but I feel she could easily be a model, I think we'll agree, um, if it wasn't for her, her nose. When I first saw her beaver, ing away, beavering away, cooking Josh a meal, I knew she was a real catch. Um, I've got no idea why her previous boyfriend cheated on her, but uh, I'm glad he did. Cheers to him, wherever he may be. Probably shaggy. Um, but uh, no. Um, seriously, Nat, uh, you're a real 8 out of 10, love. I mean that sincerely. And we're delighted you and Josh have found each other. So, uh, everyone, please raise your glasses as we say uh, a little toast to Nat and Josh. Hello, Josh.